Hello folks, this is uh, 2018, October, November, paper 4-1, and the question number is 8. This belongs to the magnetic field, the chapter magnetic field. So in uh, number 8, uh, ask us uh, what is, explain what is mean by a magnetic field. So, though I don't deal with the definition part, um, you should do it yourself. So, but, but still, uh, let me uh, remind you one thing. It is an area where a uh, uh, magnetic substance or a magnet or a moving charge particle or a conductor carrying current uh, experiences magnetic field and because of that uh, they might experience some force as well. So we have to include the, 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 the uh, item uh, moving charge body or moving charge also in the definition. Not only just magnet or magnetic field, magnetic substance. So in number B uh, <coughs> we, have, we have a question like this. A particle has mass m, uh, charge plus q, and speed v. So it's shown here. The particle enters a uniform magnetic field of flux density b, such that on entry it is moving normal to the magnetic field. So here we have a shaded area here. We have actually a shaded area here, which is not seen on the print. So when I printed it, it is not to be seen. So the shaded area is somewhat like this, a circular area. If you go through the original version of the question, you can see it. You can see it, so I'm drawing it like this. So this is the shear area. So it enters the uh, magnetic field, and the magnetic field is uh, uh, norm, uh, so the direction of the movement is normal to the magnetic field. So that means the magnetic field should be like this, like this, or like this, like this, or like this, uh, like this, and uh, uh, this thing is normal to that. And what it says is the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to perpendicular to and into the plane of the paper. So it means into the plane of the paper means like this. So we must have uh, the line, the direction of the magnetic field should be generated by these crosses here. So cross means something is going away from us. You can see these symbols in the book, in the books. Cross means something is going away from us. And cross means that we are looking at the tail of an arrow, an arrow. So these crosses mean, uh, mean <coughs> these crosses actually mean the cracks there uh, so that we can insert feathers here, feathers here. And these feathers uh, will help uh, guide the arrow in proper direction. Uh, when these uh, feathers are there, the arrow does not move like this, does not move like this, or does not move like this. So if the arrow moves just like this, so because of that uh, arrow. <coughs> so uh, the magnetic field is in this direction. So what you have to do is, on figure 8.1, draw the path of the particle through and beyond the region of the magnetic field. So we have to draw the direction of the particle. So that requires... Uh, the knowledge of Fleming's left hand rule. Uh, so <coughs> if I have the magnetic field like this, this is the magnetic field, it goes here and uh, the particle is moving this direction, so it's like this and the force is like this. So that's why as it goes in the magnetic field, the, it goes like this, like this, like this, like this and like this. So that's why the path of the particle should be a circular path here, circular path, so from here like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And once it is out of that thing, it just goes straight. So many people have a tendency to have some kinks over here, some kinks over here. There should be no kinks here and here. So here it is tangent and here also it is tangent. The path should be circular. So <clears throat> the next question is, there is a force acting on the particle. Of course there is a force here. If this is the force. This is the lower force actually causing it to accelerate. Explain why the speed of the particle on leaving the magnetic field is V. So what it tries to say is, though there is acceleration, why is there no change in the velocity? Why is there no change in the magnitude of the velocity? It's because <coughs> the force is, the direction of the force is perpendicular to the direction of the velocity. Everywhere, the force is perpendicular to velocity, for example, like this. So this is the force and this is the velocity. And yes, the angle is, the angle is 90 degrees. So wherever it is, wherever it is, wherever it is, wherever it is, like this, Wherever it shows, it is perpendicular. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Wherever it is, it is perpendicular. So that's why the speed cannot increase or <coughs> decrease. So, and this force is the centripetal force. And uh, definitely you should know from the chapter of circular motion that uh, uh, centripetal force does not produce any change in the magnitude of the velocity or the speed. It changes the direction, but it doesn't change the magnitude. Now, in the next question, in the next question, next question, next question, let me go to the next one. The particle loses an electron. The particle loses an electron so that uh, the charge becomes uh, plus 2q. So initially it was q. 
so let me fold the paper so that I can uh, get hold of the initial quantities here so initially it was a Q initially initially it was a plus Q now it has become plus 2 Q it's change in mass is ineligible so no change in mass because of the charge so determine is also V the initial speed of particles uh, such that its path through the magnetic field is unchanged. So that means that we have to have R should be same. R should be same. Q has changed. Charge has changed. Now we have to find the velocity V. So let me uh, get, get put the equation here. We have R is equal to MV by BQ. MV by BQ. B charge. So initially the velocity was equal to uh, BQR by M. Now, uh, our second charge is plus 2q. So, 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 our q nu is equal to 2q. So, that's why, uh, that's why, that's why our v nu should be equal to, r should remain same, because uh, the path is same. So, we must have b, uh, in place of q, I have got a 2q here, 2q, then uh, r by this mass. So, that's equal to, 2 B Q R by M and this B Q by uh, B Q R by M is equal to V so that's equal to 2 V so this means that uh, the initial speed of the particle should be 2 V should be 2 V if it has to maintain the same path so speed equal to 2 into V so since the magnitude of V is not given we can just write it as 2 into V which is the correct answer